Hello, everybody. This is Michael. In this video, we will do the uh, module interface coding for the Sobol uh, real-time edge detection. Okay. Um, so let's take a look the um, the system interface for the uh, system structure. So from the from the uh, picture. You actually can easily code every interface for the uh, system. Before you do any actually coding, maybe I suggest to do one thing like this. So uh, make a list of every uh, parameter for every module. So for example, this is FPGA Sobo top. The module is from here to here, okay. So um, uh, every system, every FPGA uh, minimum system, it will have the system clock and the system reset. And this uh, underscore I and this underscore I is means the signal is input signal, okay. So this both of them is the input signal, and this is uh, output signal. So uh, this is output signal. It match to this signal, okay? So uh, from here to here, this is all output signal. And this is I-O means input and output signal. So this is uh, um, basically is I2C data. This is output and this is input. So this is I-O signal. And, uh, and this is for the camera data interface. So this is camera interface. And this, from here to here is HDMI. So this is uh, I2C. And this is uh, clock. This is clock. This is date, HDMI date from uh, date 3B from 2 to 0. 3B, OK, 0, 2, 1, 0. 3B and we make a list of the of for every module. This is the top module. This is camera module. Camera module is here. So um, from here to here is it's shared uh, from here to here is shared the same with the FPGI with the FPGA Sobo top from here to here and this from here to here is the output of the module, camera module. So this is a camera red output, camera green output, camera blue output, camera down. And this is from 7 to 0B, from 7 to 0B, okay. So uh, make a list of all the modules. This is for camera module, and this is for camera control sub-module. And this is for camera data module. This is for camera data module. And this is for Sobo module. So this is Sobo module. And this is ah, here. And this is RGB to grayscale. Is this module. And this is Sobo kernel module. So is this module. And for Sobo kernel module, it's very simple, just as grayscale input and grayscale output. Okay, so this is the system clock and the system reset. And this is grayscale to RGB, so it's this module. And okay, the last one is HDMI module, it's here. So the HDMI module is only have one component, it's HDMI control, so we can just uh, make one uh, module interface, system clock, system reset, and a green, green, a red, green, blue. So this is input. And this done is in input done. So it means the grayscale to RGB is already output one pixel um, data. So this is I2C, I2C is here. So this is clock, clock here. So this is HDMI, HDMI data. So uh, we make a list of the, all the module 
in the coding, you will find you will find. So, uh, for the interface coding, it will be as easy as possible. Just like a copy and paste. Okay, so let's do it. Let's 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 actually code in the interface. So this is the uh, Vivado. We uh, we uh, introduced how to use it before, and uh, let's create project. So this project, this is new project. Okay, you uh, click it, and then it will be uh, create a new project. Okay, next. And then we will uh, uh, create the project's name, like uh, zero one. Okay. So um, next, next. And here we will create file, and this is file. And we create the uh, the top file. The top file's name is already here. So this is FPGA Sobo top. Okay, so you can continue to create file, or you can uh, just the next, and the next. And here we will choose the uh, FPGA, we choose the Arctic 7, and we choose this app package, because uh, this package is more uh, friendly for the PCB layout, and uh, we can choose uh, the this one the first one will be fine and the next finish okay so it will uh create and initialize the project and just a moment it will pop up a uh, interface to let you input the pyramid okay uh, a few moments okay the pop up to here so it will ask you to input the port name and direction and you can input everything from here to input here but we don't do this we can, we have a more easy way to do it we just press okay and yes okay so it will update and create files. So the first file is showing here. Uh, you double click it. It will call the uh, uh, Visual Studio Code. And uh, in previous video, and we already show you how to uh, link the Visual Studio Code to the uh, Vivado tools. You double click it. It will call. It will call the software to edit the files okay so um let me show you something about the visual studios how easily you can uh code you you can coding and you will enjoy the, the the fun of the coding okay so the first thing so um you will see here we already make a list of the pyramid of all the uh for the modules so we just copy all of it copy and paste and then okay we, we use the tape okay move it a little bit okay the next things um, you will see some signal is input and uh, okay now uh, we do one things first we show you uh, you can press the auto key in the on the keyboard and then Click here, click here, click here. It will multiple select uh, lines here, 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 here. Okay, we do one more thing. See, so you can input the call. You you can input this at the same time and save lots of uh, typing times. Okay, so input this at the same time uh, for multiple layer okay so um second we needed to do uh we needed to um uh we mean we needed to um decided the input the pyramid the 
input or output. Okay, we do the same thing again. So press Alt key on your keyboard. Do this, click, click, and click, 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 click. And in in front every in front every in I permit. Okay, so now you can put. So you will see here it's very easy to input lots of the same character, the same symbols. Okay, so this is input, okay? And we also have the output. We do the same thing, like click, press the Alt key on your keyboard. And okay, um, if you have some error, uh, um, click the wrong places and then try it again. Try it. Or we can do, uh, okay, we do this first. Okay. Okay. So, oh, uh, you can type right now. It's output. Okay. So you will see it's very easy and click and this is input and output. Okay. So click here and click here, press the Alt key, and this is in output, okay? So save it. So that's very easy to um, to uh, to do the interface coding. If you need to type one by one, especially like this input, output, type uh, multiple times, it's very tedious. Okay, so we save it. We save it. So the first top file has been create, create. Okay, it's very clean. This is for the um, FPGA clock and reset. This is for um, we can take a look here. So this is for um, the camera control interface. This is for the the data interface, and this is for the I two C. I two C is here. So I2C is here, and this is for uh, HTMI uh, clock. This is for HTMI date, okay? Okay, so uh, we create the top solvable system interface, and then um, we save it. We create, we create this module, this module, and this module, okay? So uh, let's to create three more files okay you click click here and here and edit source okay edit and create files so um, let's take a look at our text files so the first one is camera modules okay oh sorry the camera modules press okay and the next one will be um the Sobo modules create file okay and the, the next the last one will be the okay HTMI modules so okay so finish okay so it will edit the files so um so if you at this moment, if you just uh, press OK, it will it will show this. Some files have not been visited or changed. So this is very important. So uh, we need to we need to visit every file. It will do. Uh, it will generate the structure for every file. If you uh, didn't visit. Uh, some files, the structure of the coding, it will not create. Okay, so uh, let's, you just click the file's name, click the file's name, and it will consider you visit the file. Okay, then we press OK. Press yes. Okay, it will create the three files. Okay, the three files here, so we open these files. 
double click it so it will give you the structure of the files and we also open our uh, text files and find the uh, find the interface so this is the interface we just uh, copy all of it and paste it and so this is a very easy thing to do and okay so this time I will show you something so it's like uh, this way if you um, press shift and alt key at the same time on your keyboard and then move your mouse it will automatically select uh, lots of lines from here to here okay press here okay so uh, if you want to uh, select uh, the same lines at the same time press the shift and alt at the same time and then input the uh, uh, character which you want okay so uh, for example we can do it again so like this but this will be remove some character we 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 don't want to do this so we uh, still use the auto okay it will do like this and input the characters okay and we this is input input and input 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 okay so it's all the input needed to be input uh permit okay setting as input permit so it will be input permit okay uh, this one should be should be remove okay the others should be output okay output okay so um you will see this is very easy to uh, this is very easy to create the interface um, function of the of the code and it's very beautiful okay you can use this way to create all the files and like this okay so this is the final uh, project file interface structure and uh, again take a so this will be the top files so this is the top file double click it it will call the the uh visual studio code okay so this is top file they have three components is camera module and the server module and the HTMI module and then um uh uh, um, be, so this is the uh, camera module and uh, this is camera module solver module and HDMI module so you use the same way to create it and the camera module has two uh, sub modules is control module and data module okay so um so that's for the uh, uh, module interface coding is very easy and it's, it's uh, if you're using the right way it will, it will be uh, very fun and easy to code it okay uh, next time we will focus on the solvable algorithms uh, more and we will focus on the RGB to grayscale and the RGB to grayscale how to convert RGB to grayscale okay so uh, that's it I'm Michael hope you will like it and uh, subscribe us support us
Thank you. Thank you very much.